Let's start again. Yeah, All right. right. Well. You know what you have to do. You just do everything he says. Were they getting visual as well as audio or nothing? Well, howdy, and here we are. Here we are. We're we're, we're having some tef technical difficulties. We've already again. gone for seven minutes, but oh, have we now? No, no, like before the prayer. But go ahead, try now. Okay, I'm not sure I know what's happening. Um, so we're going to. Um, all right. I'm not quite sure if we Just are. Go ahead, start in prayer. <laughs> Welcome to God is in the house. Well, already then, I'll re-echo. <laughs> so yeah. Anyway, we've been having some technical issues, being as we don't, uh, we aren't able to have our uh, our more techy person here with us, and so uh, yeah, we're missing you, Ralph. Um, anyway, we're <laughs> we're going to start. Um, we're going to start with yeah. A little bit out of Psalm 18 here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. You know, wouldn't the enemy just like to, you know, we, we all come up against various different obstacles, various different challenges. Um, every one of us do. And they might look a little bit different for each person, but how, how do we handle these challenges? And are we going to are we going to try to manage obstacles in our own strength, or are we going to choose to stand in the strength of our God and um, let His amazing power and strength uh, from you know we're we're going to tap into His strength and His power. So these are the choices. These. These are the choices that um, that we make. It's we we choose to ask God to pour out His power, His Spirit of power upon us, or do we ch take this on in our own strength? So you know, I'm gonna look at in Psalm 18, verse 29 specifically. I'm gonna start with that, and we're gonna talk about and and just sort of. So yeah, we're gonna we're gonna walk. We're gonna choose to walk with the spirit of power, because our God is the all powerful, and so we can say, as Psalm eighteen verse twenty nine says, "With you as my strength, I can crush an enemy horde advancing through every stronghold that stands in front of me." Because of the mighty God that we serve, because He has already dismantled all the the hierarchies of darkness. He's already ripped all of that to pieces by shedding his blood on the cross and by taking all he's already just he's he has shredded all the all of the enemy's tactics. We as human beings, we sometimes we we give in to these things when we are faced with challenges. But what we can say here, according to to this uh, this reading for this day, is that God, I will not relent until I am all that you have created me to be. I can say today I rise up in tenacious faith, and I ask that you would bless me with the spirit of power. Give me the same spirit that empowered David to defeat Goliath with a sling and a stone. And we know that today we actually have, you know, we actually have Holy Spirit power, dunamis power available not only from, from within the universe, but within us. When we, when we have Jesus, have made Jesus the Lord of our lives, Holy Spirit power resides continuously in us because the God of the universe dwells within us. 
And so we can, we can say, yes, Lord, give me that same spirit and greater. We've already got the greater. And we can, we can make that declaration and say, and, choose, and a choice, I will not miss my day of visitation. You really, you know, you, for your heart's desire and for you to choose and say, I will not miss the day of my visitation, a determination not to miss God. Because in these days and in these hours, where there's so much deception that is rampant in this earth, more and more we have to stay that much closer to our God. More and more we have to stay so close to him, so close, even as close, he's, he's as close to us as the breath. And so that we stay that close to him, so that we, we will not be deceived and we will not miss the day of his visitation or the moment of his visitation, my day of visitation. And we can choose and say, I will tap into your limitless power and see, and I will, I will do that, and I will see miracles, I will see signs, and I will see wonders flow through my hands. That means your hands. I will see these things, when because I'm tapping in, I'm tapping into the power, the power of the Spirit of the living God, and I will see these things, because He resides in me, therefore, I will, I will, these hands will perform miracles. These hands will see the signs. These hands will pray for others, and they will be healed. These hands will say, rise up from your sick bed and walk. These hands will say, depression and oppression, go in Jesus' name. These hands will say and, and do, and, and we will say and do. The Lord bless you and keep you, and peace come to you in those troubled waters. Heaven will be released upon the earth and already is being, has been and is being released upon the earth. Even as I reach out with bold faith, I will not back off until I have it all. Don't ever let go and don't give up. I will not back off until I have it all. And so we can say to our God, anoint me, anoint me with boldness, with greater boldness. And with courage when I face the enemy. I need your power. I need your anointing. So that I can walk with courage and boldness. Whenever I am faced with these obstacles. And we can say I will not. I choose. I will not sit by. And I will not allow him to steal, kill, and destroy. I will not allow him to steal, friends, family, relationships. I will not allow him to kill to kill those that I love. I will not allow him to kill the hope that was, is within me. I will not allow him to destroy my family. I will not allow him to bring division. I choose love. I choose unity, whether it be amongst brothers and sisters in the body of Christ or our very close to home, our own family members. I will not sit by and allow him to destroy what God has meant for good for every single person that I love, that I care for, and in my, in my realm. I will not do that. The hierarchies of darkness have been and are already dismantled, especially when the spirit of power comes upon me, then they are dismantled and have no hold, because I refuse to allow that in Jesus' name. Your spirit within me is greater than any foe. No enemy stands a chance. So what we say, back off devil. God's got this and I've got God. So together we are a power team. You haven't given me a spirit of fear. The Lord has not given us a spirit of fear. And we can say, I will and I wear your armor, Lord. And, <laughs> and I, then I look just like you. We can look and can look just like the mighty God of Israel. We can look like our God as when we're wearing his power, his attire, and his armor, and we are because we are then in him. And I can declare and you can declare, I am filled with power because my God 
has already filled me with his power, his dunamis power. And as, as we have already come through the resurrection weekend a few weeks ago, and we're, and the Pentecost, you know, the from last weekend already, Pentecost and this whole week now, there's the Spirit of the Lord. He is gaining strength and gaining power amongst his people, but in the earth. The power of Holy Ghost and fire is upon us. And the power of the Lord, the power of the Lord and his Holy Spirit is being poured out in greater measure than we have ever known this far. And it will only be, get greater and greater and greater. So stay close to your God. Stay very close to him. And we bless the name of our Lord and we thank you, Jesus. Jesus, we want to thank you that you have seen fit to dwell not only amongst but in your people. Lord, we thank you that you have already dismantled all the de all the all the hierarchies of darkness. You have already made a spectacle of all that on the cross. <laughs> so, Lord, we choose not to give any power back to the enemy. We choose not to to give the enemy power, but we choose to take on the power of Holy Spirit. Holy Spirit that's available to us. And we bless you, Lord. We bless you. And we say thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord, that you would see fit. That you would see fit. Because what is man that you would be mindful of us? But, Lord, you have seen fit to dwell with us and within us. And so we bless your holy name. And we say you are the King of glory. The Lord God of Israel. You are the Holy One of Israel. You are the King. And we acknowledge you as King. And we say, Lord, let your presence... Let your glory fill each and every home. Let your presence and your glory fill every every being and every heart. And we thank you for all that you're doing, Lord. And Father, that we can hardly wait to see what you're going to be doing and what you're up to. So we bless your name, Jesus. Amen. 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 Well, it's uh, we're sitting here in the green room. <laughs> <laughs> Any of you that have ever visited here, uh, you know what this room is. It's really a nice fellowship room and green and we've got uh, a painting above us that was given to us by focus on the family uh, when we went to Carith Creek mm -hmm. and um, you can see the you know it's in Alberta and the mountains and by a creek and that's, yeah that's one of their places yeah. one of their places and there's also one in Manitoba here mm -hmm. the reason I'm saying that is that Momo has been he, he wrote a real nice uh, um, exhortation here on, oh. on on here he was he was agreeing with you with what you were reading, mm. and he right in it. I wish I could bring him up. And Donovan is on right now from ah. Barbados. <laughs> and uh, I've never done this, but uh, I'm gonna hit. I'm gonna hit bring on camera. So, well, uh, I'm gonna add you if you're there, Donovan. Donovan, I don't know how this works. We've never done it. We're not very <laughs> techy, but we're bringing you on. If you, if you have, a, you know, if you want to join us, it says that it says Grandma up here or grandma always has what cherished memories um that are i think it says here memories that are in the heart forever well uh, <laughs> uh we're not your grand we're not grandparents but maybe a spiritual mom and dad but we certainly do have memories of donovan and and uh from jamaica and Bar uh, also barbados where he is now with lisa and memories forever isn't that interesting when you um have the testimony of jesus with friends, you have that you have those memories and those testimonies forever, and uh, the same with Momo uh, and Sandra. Uh, those that the, that testimony of Jesus, the, the testimony of the memories of what we've had together forever. Now with um, Momo and Sandra, it's from about two thousand and eight. Uh, from you and know that we've so known them. Yes, yeah, so many that are in our hearts. Yes, really in our hearts that. Because of the Lord, and because of relationship that we have built with with each and every one of you, and you know some for longer than others, um, but still having a very very special place. I know I've interrupted you, but but it's just when you talk about the heart, like um, yeah, just there's a very special place in our hearts, and mm. nobody else can take your place. Um, and and I just thank the Lord for the expansion 
that he gives us in our heart capacity to love more and more and to love each one of our sons and daughters no matter how many and where you're all located no matter um, that the capacity that he gives for love is unimaginable and I guess that's because our God has we cannot imagine the capacity of love in his heart for each and every one of his kids throughout the world throughout the globe he is such a God of love and you know we can only we can only know that little piece that that each of us can experience individually but um, yeah I love you each and every one of you Donovan Lisa Momo Sandra you know so many like Robert Wait, and Christine are on here. Obviously. All right. And he, God gives a special family. He really does. You know, so it, it's like, it's like, thank you, Lord. Like, how kind is that of him? He is so kind. He is so gracious. Yes. He is so full of love. And every single human being, every single human being deserves to be loved. And our God does love each and every one of his created people and, and beings. You know, he uh, his create his creation. He loves he loves each individual human. Yeah. No matter whether they've known him or love him yet or not, but for each of you you're very special to us. And yeah. and yeah. So you can read from Donovan here. Well yeah can you see that? It's just Donovan bringing blessings oh, yes. always from Barbados. Yes, of course. Yes. And if there's some way I'm supposed to bring you on, I've been hitting all the buttons to bring you on. So well, I don't. yeah. Let's not but try too much technology change know. at the moment. <laughs> but the good news is we're in the green room, and there's a green dot on you, Donovan, so I don't know what that means. Uh, oh, he... He's green and he's vibrant, and oh, he's, yeah. this time of year, you're green. <laughs> so, yeah. Uh, uh, isn't that interesting, you know... It, uh, anyway. Yeah, so Ralph's on there as well. He's been, you know, five years. So when you look at uh, the different people that are coming on, like Memories Forever, like up here, mm. Grandma has Memories Forever. We have the grandkids downstairs. and um, It's a... What's that? Oh, no. Well, you, he's trying to hold hands with me. That's okay. <laughs> hold hands with me. Okay. Anyway, so um, Memories Forever, this... This pandemic is almost like, okay, um, a planned, um, you know, I, I have, like Jeremiah 29, 11, I have, I have plans and a purpose for you, mm. you know, not to harm you, but to, to bring you good. Now, mm. yeah. you know, I'm just paraphrasing here that if you want to bring 29-11 up but I, I, eventually. Yeah. eventually but I, I'm just saying like whatever the plans are and the purpose it's to prepare us for a, a greater walk in covenant love with our God mm. and when I look at um, you know Donovan and Lisa first time we met Donovan he was as tall as he is now and his <laughs> smile is well, as that's, big that's good. <laughs> he is big as, well his smile might be bigger now because he's met Lisa from Barbados, oh, yes. but when he first met us, you know, like 1993, it was about, uh, you know, uh, first time to Jamaica, um, and 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 meeting him, and the memories are forever, mm. and I can remember we went there with Tom and Char Battle to, to just to carry their bags on the our first mission trip together to Jamaica, mm -hmm. and uh, it was exciting to go, and I don't know if you've ever can remember your first mission trip. Ralph was on there right now watching, and uh, uh, w w Ralph went to us to Fiji in, in 2018 when mm. we went there for his first mission trip, and and then Donovan joined us. Uh, we yep. were there for six weeks, and and Donovan came in, parachuted in. We did did a uh, a youth conference there, and, and the Holy Ghost and fire came down. Yeah, amen. And you know, it was about this. It was about the same time as now. It was it was penny it was it was Pentecost uh, week week or Pentecost month it changes because of uh, because of the Hebraic calendar uh, but the the Gregorian calendar is always uh, causes a little bit of confusion but heaven is never confused okay. and and uh, but the fire came down for those youth and and we had it we had like three different churches or four 
all together, and we did it in two two separate places. Storm, the storm, the, there was a storm. God's storm was right there. In the midst of that storm, you know, the Pentecost and fire came down upon all them youth and fire. Do you remember that? It didn't matter what the storm was. <laughs> it didn't matter how many typhoons and cyclones, cyclones down there. Like we had two and a half of them. And, and, and they were like category three and four and one time five and back down to three. And, and we prayed. It just, it just allowed us to, stri uh, it, just <laughs> it just allowed us to flex our muscles of faith. Uh, and uh, as Donovan just says, I, I'm better and have a greater smile. Yes, you do, Donovan. And I can't wait to give you a hug. And, um, you know, that's one of the things about memories. You know, memories of the fellowship and the testimony of Jesus of being brought together. Whoever, who, who could imagine to connect the dots from Canada to Jamaica, from Jamaica to Barbados, from Barbados to Hamiota to Ralph and uh, you know and, Fiji and, and, and then to Fiji and to um, Africa. Africa and India you know like there's dots and connecting everywhere and Christine is she's a Vav and uh, <laughs> I explained that last time that's a connector and that you know this is the yeah, month of Robert, connections yeah. like they're connectors you know Robert and uh, and Christine from Gimli yeah. everybody thinks they're they're wired 110 not even close. Like Donovan, he's an electrician. Like, and d down there in in uh, in in well, Caribbean or whatever, or uh, I think it's even in Fiji. You know, everything is wired two twenty or or higher. <laughs> like, uh, Robert and Christine are not even close to one ten. Uh, they're wired higher, Donovan, and you're gonna love these guys. And uh, they're just they're they're just great. They just they, they just want to be right in the flow of what the Holy Spirit's doing. And whatever the Holy Spirit's doing, they just want to smile and enjoy it and connect it to others. Isn't that great memories? Isn't that, those are the kind of memories that we want to have together. The testimony of Jesus, as it says in Revelations 19.10, that the test, like the, the spirit of prophecy is the testimony of Jesus. But that spirit of prophecy and, and, and flowing in faith, believing in the heart and speaking through the mouth, of who Jesus is and, and advancing the kingdom of God and sharing the gospel of Jesus Christ in different nations, in faith. Wow, man, that, that, that's awesome. You know, uh, being wired 220, um, I don't think I was ever meant for North America. You know, like we're not this <laughs> They've one. They've never been stuff. ready for you. You know, like we're we're like four forty or whatever. Like well, whatever. You but... know, whatever comes down from heaven, we're ready to carry the voltage, and uh, and that's part of what this is all about in the month of Saban, is about the glory carriers. You know, mm. God has made His beloved in this month, and it's the tribe of Zebulon, and uh, but He has said that the tribe of Zebulon. And he pours out his spirit upon all flesh right now. But he, he is calling us to be his glory carriers. Mm -hmm. And to carry his glory and to be in that place of honor. Because he trusts us with, with his honor uh, and his glory mm -hmm. and his anointing. Um, mm -hmm. And oh my goodness. You know, there, there's Donovan saying, Fiji is one of the greatest spiritual experiences I've ever had. Thanks, mom and dad. What a memory. What an opportunity to serve mm -hmm. and see more. You know, uh, that's a testimony. Yeah. The opportunity to serve. And, and words cannot express now what mm. God is doing through me on the Caribbean. Awesome. And you and Lisa together. Bone that's of my so bone. Cool. Flesh of my flesh. So Go cool. ahead. No, no. And uh, I, glory to God. You guys are glory carriers. Like, uh, yeah, that's right. That's right. And, that's right. And, and I, when I say in, in, the, in that glory... Um, mm -hmm. You know, it, it also says, uh, I love the way um, Vincent Poole, Apostle Vincent Poole, yeah. if you haven't got his book, it's, it's uh, you know, it's understanding the biblical calendar. Um, if you haven't got his book, you need to get it. it you can get it on Amazon, Amazon or whatever, mm -hmm. or call him directly. Uh, he'd love to give an autographed signed copy to you. Um, but I love the way he... He writes this and saying, you, he says, you yourself, uh, as a guardian, you, we're guardians. 
Guardians. There's that movie out there called Guardian, Guardians of the Galaxy or something like that. But we're that, that, that's well. That's what. Well, we're the, we're along with God. We are, are guardian, guardian, guardians of His galaxy, of His, of his galaxy, of, of planet Earth. There you got it. In all the gates, He has called us to be guardians on His behalf Amen. in the Earth, and that we are that we share with Him in in guarding the gates. In, yeah. Amen. Anyway, sorry. No, that's perfect. Glory. We are called to be the guardian of the glory. Of the Lord, yeah, and we and we're called to be carri carriers yes. of His glory. Mm -hmm. So, what kind of vessel does that look like? Is it is is it some something that looks like from outer space, or is it just the Holy Spirit and power that comes down in Pentecost? We in we, individual, yeah, yeah. And each in, each an individual. Mm -hmm. it, you know, it's you know it says that you know um, in Luke three sixteen that we'll be baptized in water. Well, oh. yeah, we go through that. But it says you also be baptized in fire. Well, what is that? How, how, how does oil, the anointing oil, and the baptismal fire, pardon me, baptismal water and fire work together? Well, if you've ever had a water and oil and a candle and put it on top, they, know, they all know what to do. You don't have to tell them what to do. They know their order, and the fire is always on top. Mm. <laughs> And the fire that's always on top is hooked right into the anointing oil. Yeah! Yes! The fire is always, the anointing oil is always hooked right into the fire, the flame, the wick. Oh! And, and underneath that, there is a, the, the water, the life, the, what would you call it? The fountain of life and righteousness. Jesus says, drink of me. Drink of me, and you will never thirst again. Mm -hmm. Didn't he say that to the lady at the well? He he didn't want to tell her. Then I'm gonna put I'm then I'm put my anointing and fire on you, and then I'm gonna light you up like a candle, and you're gonna be a glory carrier mm -hmm. with a, a fountain of water that's coming out of me. You're gonna be so filled with the anointing that you're gonna be squishy and fire and resilient. <laughs> And my glory is within you, and my glory comes out of you and shines and shines and is radiant. Because that is how I see my children, says the Lord that I God. My children are, re are radiant and are a reflection of my son, Jesus. Mm. Uh, you know, uh, in Colossians 1, verses 26 to 27, um, you know, I, I've been touching a, a lot about this lately. And, you know, right now it's very important for us to understand that this, it, in Colossians 1, um, Colossians 1, 26 and 27, um, you know, it says here, the mystery which has been hidden from, age, from ages... Mm. And from generations, but now has been revealed to his saints. Do, do you think this Pentecost is coming alive around the world and being revealed to his saints? Back here, Paul's, you know, Colossians, Paul's talking about this. Yeah. And he's saying it's being revealed to his saints. Now, in the first 300 years, the fire and the Pentecost of God, it just went from nation to nation. But wherever it went, I can tell you right now, it was, there was persecution at every place. Because they went where, where there was persecution. The Romans drove them out well, to the their enemies. Followed them. They drove them to their enemies. Yeah. And they went to the enemies that the Romans didn't want to fight. So uh, the enemies accepted all the Christians because they didn't see them as a threat. <laughs> and uh, gee whiz, I wonder, I wonder if through that persecution they came through, a, I have a plan and a purpose for you to go into the place where I want you to share my gospel. I want you to share my gospel, regardless of who the enemy is to whom. Like right now in Israel, there is rockets from the Hamas, the Hezbollah. They're gonna, there's nothing coming through Jordan yet, but the Palestine the PLO are wanting to show their strength. It seems like everybody is against Israel, even the United States, with Joe Biden being 
as difficulty as he is saying, stop defending yourself. Basically, is what he's saying. Right, and I mean the as of today, you know they've 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 agreed to a ceasefire between Hamas and Israel. I mean we don't know how long that lasts. What we do know though is Israel is always in the sights and the target of the enemy. Amen. And so as you know, and as even God's people are as well. Well, as glory carriers, we yeah. we are always going to be in the crosshairs of the enemies of God, which is the devil and all his enemy. We we glow in the dark. We're we're glow straws. I don't know my son Jason had glow straws on his ceiling ever, you know, uh since he was a little kid and, and uh well, when he was, yeah. When he was I'm sure he's got glow straws sticking somewhere. Then his kids had it, you know, and I'm sure our grandkids will have it. Mm. I think our grand and our great grandkids will have glow straws. It doesn't matter. We are we are glow straws because, because we are the glory, glory yeah. of God. We shine in the dark, and there's something beautiful about shining in the dark, especially mm. when we are, you know, as far as far as being guardians of the galaxy of the glory of God. I know you're going to be comparing that show, but this is not a show. This is real. For real. We are for real. We are the guardians yeah. in the galaxy and the glory carriers of the Lord thy God. Hora shatahi. And, and you know, when we're called to be protectors of his presence, yes. we are called to be protectors of his presence, and that's where, through that, you know, his glory will come become greater and greater but protectors of the presence of the Lord and in order to do that we need to always be so close but that we walk in his presence ongoing 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 so that we are always staying there and so it 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 can be a challenge it can be a challenge to stay in that place but we be determined that we will not sit back and allow any enemy to steal the presence and the glory of our God, and certainly that no human being should ever try to take on the glory of God, because our God is a jealous God. But we are we are called to be protectors of His presence, guardians of of His glory, and so yeah, carry on. I, I just that's awesome, Leslie. You know. That is awesome because, um, you know, in verse twenty twenty seven here it it, it says and. Uh, First Col Colossians chapter 1, I just read 26, it says, To them God will to make known. Okay, uh, 27, To them God, Adonai Elohim, will to make known what are the riches of mm -hmm. the glory. What are the riches of the glory of God? You cannot put the glory of God in a box and not let anybody see it. Now, you cannot put the Holy Spirit in a box and not have anybody have the opportunity to know how the Holy Spirit is part of this, the resurrection and the life of the Lord Jesus Christ. And you cannot put the anointing in a box and say, we don't allow anointing in this church. We don't allow, well, you can't, you know, we, we don't allow the anointing in this church. You can't raise your hands. You know, some churches, you know, what they do is they lower the fans so they're only... You know, you know. Gee, so if you raise your hands and worship, you get a thump, <laughs> thump, 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 thump. You know, no. it doesn't matter what the world does. You cannot put the glory. You cannot put the worship. You cannot put the anointing. You cannot put God in a box. Although many try. Yes, and right now it says here, <laughs> and it's you know, and it says here, uh, the glory of the mystery mm. among the Gentiles, which is Christ in you. Can you can can the enemy put you in a box? The Christ in you in a box? The not mystery of you in a box? The Christ, for the Christ he cannot ever, no. No, but just, to, okay. can the enemy try to put you in a box? you got the glory of the Lord Jesus Christ in you. Do you think this pandemic is nothing more than trying to put you in a box? I have a plan and a purpose to you that you would be my light on the hill. When I lift up the bushel, that your light comes forth mm -hmm. in the middle of the night, right? On the on the, the side darkness, of the hill. Yeah. You, you with me? Mm -hmm. I think the enemy wants to not only keep you in the 
uh, with a bushel over you or a basket, but also put you in a box so nobody can see the glory of God coming out of you. Nobody can hear your mm. testimony of Jesus. Nobody mm. can see the radiance and the joy in your hands. Nobody can, th oh my goodness. Uh, it, why are you so happy? That's a mystery to me. Mm. The world is saying you're a mystery to me. I don't understand you, you mm. Christian person. Why are you so right. happy? Are you sick? Are you, are you in your right mind? How can you be have the joy and, and, and be happy right now in all this gloom and doom and everything else? What, and it says, which is Christ in you, the hope of glory. Mm -hmm. It's the hope yeah. of glory. Well, and it's the Christ in us. Yes. Who is the hope of glory. That's how we have hope. Okay. Okay. So if you have that hope, does that qualify you? To be a guardian of the galaxy? Does it? Does it? Are you going to let your light shine through all the universe? <laughs> well, are it's you? easy. <clears throat> well, it's easy to jump in a in a spaceship and say, "I'm going to be a star out there, and out of uh, out of all the millions and millions of stars, and nobody can actually put their finger upon me because I'm part of all the light that's up there, which is beautiful." But when we're up and close like this, honey, if I can't reach, I can't get over to kiss you. I can't get over. To, I want to kiss you. I want to kiss you because I love the light in your lips. Uh -huh. And I want to get close to that light in your lips. I don't care what the world is saying. I love the light in your lips because those are Jesus' lips. <laughs> they have the, the, the hope of glory is inside you. Uh, yeah, okay. You got the memo? <laughs> huh? I think you're writing it in big, bold letters. Am I? Donovan, uh, this is uh, Marriage Counseling 101, you oh, and he Lisa. he doesn't need that. <laughs> I know. He's got a big smile, and, and Lisa has a big smile. And they, they do these conferences all the time. I'm just saying, they're very, very happy, and they know what glory carriers are all yeah, about. Yeah, absolutely. And they know, and they and they just let their light shine, and others to enjoy the sh to come in from whatever darkness they're in, or whatever, uh, whatever gloom, or whatever the difficulty is, to come into a place... So that Define there is no mystery of joy. Well, and, and to help uncover uh, the truth as to what seems to be the mysteries of God, but to uncover the truth who is Jesus. Jesus is the truth. Amen. And that's what he's called each and every one of his believers, you know, to reveal truth. And so to reveal truth is having truth already revealed or being more revealed in us. Amen. And then through us. So, so how, ex how excited are you? How are excited are you? Even, even now, uh, uh, Maria is saying, you guys are too funny. Okay. <laughs> well, isn't the joy of the Lord our strength? Right? Joy of it's the Lord. It's got to be. It's got to right? be. Yeah. You put up with me for 50 years of kissing. Okay. Carry Can on. you deny that? Almost. No. Yeah. <laughs> this is our jubilee year of kissing. How do you like that? She is blushing. She's even blushing more than what a red tree t shirt is. Okay. Carry on, dear. Okay. I'm just saying. This is. Okay. Okay. <coughs> okay. Back to center here. Back to center? Yeah. Okay. The hope of glory. Yes. So if we are. What. You know what? You know if we are, if we are the guardian of the galaxy, of the glory of God. Do you not think he, he, God doesn't want to keep us way out there in outer space? He wants to bring us in close, so that we can have memories with friends, right? Okay. So if we come in close with memories with friends, people understand that we are real people mm. with real testimonies and we can be funny and we can't some people cry with us some people laugh with us or laugh at us La but no but when, but I, I'm in the goofy moments goofy moments but the joy of the lord is our strength yes and at the same time the light of god and the radiance of god is not a mystery to us correct is it a mystery to the world yes and right now with everything that's happening in israel you know, uh, with the Hezbollah coming in and shooting the rockets from the north. Or Hamas, yeah. Well, Hezbollah well, is north. Oh, okay, sorry. Okay, uh, Hamas is from Gaza. Okay. Okay, uh, they're, they're to the 
west and a little right. bit south. And uh, isn't yeah. that interesting? The Hamas used to be all where the Can Canaanites were. That's mm -hmm. where they used to be. Okay, and uh, you know I could break this down from the where the Hezbollah. You know when the, it gets off topic. I guess I know it gets off topic, but they're shooting from the north, and then uh, and then you've got the PLO who are off to the east. You know where Jordan is, and and Jordan is um, Moab, and Moab has always been a thorn in the flesh of Israel. Okay, that's the truth. Right now, King Hussein, uh, son, is there, mm. and he is he is friendly to Israel, and said he would never attack. Israel again, that's what his father said, and he and had a covenant with his son, and so that's the way it is. But there's a lot of pressure right now upon uh, Moab, upon Jordan, upon the PLO, and Biden gave the PLO how many millions and millions and millions of dollars to attack? Who? Gee, why did, why did he give all those millions and millions of dollars to the PLO for the Palestinians? Oh, is PLO Palestinians? Yeah, they are. And uh, that was about uh, four months ago or three months ago. And again, it was one of the first things he did. Why did, why did he want the uh, Palestinians to attack, I mean the PLO, to have all this money? They could have put it in resources and food and all kinds of things, educational systems. But they put it into their, I don't know, terror, terrorist attacks? Or, or certainly, you know. Uh, well, I mean, certainly for, for destruction versus... You know, more for destruction of the destructive purposes, right? Yeah, I, I, I'm just saying, mm -hmm. what is happening right now? I, I, in Jeremiah twenty nine eleven, mm -hmm. I have a plan and a purpose for you. We're right now in a time of Pentecost. We're in a time of great persecution around the world. Why is God pulling us in close? Mm -hmm. Why is He pulling us in close to His bosom to keep us protected? Are you choosing choosing to be part of what the not only being a glory carrier but being embraced by the by the love of God? You know Abraham, Isaac, and J Jacob. You know, Abraham, he God talked to him. I'm going to make you the father of many nations. That includes all the ones that are attacking Israel. Mm -hmm. And it says that at the very end, you know, Gog and Magog, Cush and Put, they're all going to attack Israel. And nobody's going to stand with Israel. That's right now, guys. Mm -hmm. you, know, uh, it, you know, there's a few wor whispers out there where Germany and a few other nations are, are still ha standing with, with Israel. Well, we'll see. We'll see. But it says all the nations will be against Israel. So it's, it's coming to that point. The other thing that has to happen is Jordan, Moab, uh, uh, King Hussein's uh, son, has to either change his mind and attack Israel, which he doesn't want to do, or uh, he'll be assassinated and his uh, half-brother is all ready to, ready to do it. So uh, the stage is set. Uh, is it a mystery to you? We talked about the times and the seasons of the intercessors of Issachar, and we and we we, we we're, we're, God is letting us know. Uh, the month of Nisan was, it was the Hebraic month uh, three months ago. It's the line of Judah and praise. Yeah. Have you been? Are you? Are, can you praise a sacrifice of praise? Are you able to praise through all these difficulties? Yeah. And then the, the next month was the month of Issachar. Okay, um, uh, you know, I are. You know, are, 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 you know the times and the season. They were warriors. They, they were the point people for taking on in war. Do you not think this is the point time of taking things on in war in the spirit? Spirit? This is war, worship for warriors. That was the intercessors of Issachar. We've just gone in now, mm -hmm. uh, not even a week ago, uh, we've gone into the month of Sedan which is the month of Zebulon, which is the glory carries the three of us. These were the mm. three tribes that took on the enemy when they attacked. Mm. Do you think it's coincidence right now with everything that's coming down against Israel, as Israel as being attacked? Uh, do you think it's, uh, and the beloved of God is being attacked? Do you not think we are part of, we are grafted in, and we're part of the beloved of God? 
both naturally, physically, and spiritually. So it's important for us to be awake. And when I say be awake, to understand that the Lord has a plan and a purpose for His beloved. And His plan and His purpose is to what? Is it to harm us? No. It's to bring us into a greater walk and covenant walk and love with Him. And we have to come into that place of unconditional love and to love those so many people out there right now. It's, it's a mystery of them how to love and how to laugh and how to be encouraged during these difficult times. That's where we, the remnant, I'm saying remnant, uh, it, it, it could get smaller, but I think it's going to get bigger. I think there's going to be a great, 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 great um, um, revival, a great revival coming. And in that revival, there's uh, all kinds of exciting things that happen. I don't know when you've had the opportunity to lead somebody to the Lord, those first fruits of leading somebody to the Lord. Oh, isn't there an excitement when you lead somebody to the Lord, even during difficult times? Ah, uh, yes. Do you not see how that excitement is going to increase during this time? Let's call it mystery time. Because uh, in, when Paul was talking about this in Colossians chapter 1, verses 26 to 27, he, he talked about the mystery. Well, back then there was a mystery um, to the gospel of the Lord Jesus Christ. It's not, the gospel is not really a mystery today. But how we're going to walk through in the glory of who we are as the sons and daughters of the Most High. God, God wants us to be brilliant. He's not coming back. Uh, when I say brilliant, shiny, he's not coming back for a church that's wounded and broken and scarred up and <coughs> bruised. He's coming back for a church without spot or wrinkle. Do you know that the spirit within you is 100% pure? 100% pure within you. Ah, oh. So that means that the, the bride of Christ, who we are part of, our spirit is 100% pure and 100% absolutely uh, on fire for what the Holy Spirit wants us to do during this time of Pentecost. Let's aspire and become part of that fireball, that glory ball as the glory carriers, taking it into the darkness, taking it in the God's glory and taking the gospel of the Lord Jesus Christ to our neighbors and friends and, and people in other nations. Um, it's exciting for us to be in relationship as one. That is the most important thing right now in so many things of being in the body of Christ. Uh, Billy Odas just, just joined us from Bangladesh. So, hi, Billy. Um, our, our leaders out there, they've just come on board. Relationship is important to him. Relationship is important to our people in India. And, and when I say that, all our friends, are, they're, looking, they're looking for relationship. Yes, they need funds and, and, and medical care and all the things that we need as well. But it's important during these very difficult times that we be in relationship and we be in prayer. And we be in a place of faith, not fear. That's exciting too. And um, so... When we looked at this thing up, when we started here, mem you know, memories, you know, it, it says grandma's memories are the heart that she holds in her hearts forever. What the, the testimonies and the fr friendships and the relationships that we have in Christ Jesus, we hold those relationships forever. Um, some of, some of like Billy O, uh, I, he, I've only really known him through, uh, Facebook and, and, and so on for about a year. He's been watching and being part of uh, uh, everything that we've been putting out and been wanting to be in a relationship. And I just watched his... I wanted to see if if he really, really wanted a relationship. And he really, really wanted a relationship. So after after a period of time, I contacted him. And now we're walking, we're talking and, and I'm encouraging him and, and doing what I can to allow him to know that we love them, love him here in, at, in Canada, like Ray and Leslie, but also our leadership around the world. Um, isn't it exciting to know that you're loved by some, some people that, don't, that, are, that are not close to you, 
uh, naturally or physically, but in the spirit, yes. And that's where it's important for us to reach out and continue to reach out to those individuals that need to be encouraged and to be discipled and to be um, come into that place of radiance and joy that's so important as we mature as Christians and to know that we're, we're, we're a good, happy family. And, <coughs> and happiness, again, I'm going to re repeat, is, is that uh, being those glory carriers that, that this is the time in the month of Savan that uh, the, the tribe of Zebulun, you know, they were, they were part of the spearhead of the three tribes in the Hebraic calendar. You know, it talks about the, the three tribes at the top, and they would be, they would be taking the enemy on from, from the head on. And God always sends his best to take the enemy on from the head on. So right now, you're his best. You're his glory carriers. You're his worship warriors. You know, the, pr the praise, the Judah, the, the praise going forth, the line of Judah mm -hmm. roaring. You are <coughs> his worship warriors uh, and intercessors from the intercessors of Issachar. He's been building mm -hmm. you up. And, uh, and Zebulon is the glory carriers or the, uh, the guardian of his glory, of, the guardian of the galaxies of, of his glory. And we have to understand uh, those who do not know the Lord Jesus Christ, it's important for them to know the relationship and the love of the Father the unconditional love of the Father, the unconditional forgiveness of the Father through the blood of His Son that sacrificed Himself for you and I to come into that place to be able to be in the Father's presence. And the Holy Spirit that becomes a part of us, the paraclete, the, the Romans 8.11, the same Spirit that raised Christ from the dead dwells within us that came from the mighty right arm of God when He flexed it. Mm -hmm. Ephesians 1. 16, 17, 18. So uh, we are such a mystery to the world. Indeed. We are a mystery to the world. So we have to let our light shine. And that's why I gave the illustration of how uh, oil, the anointing oil and the, and the water... Um, which is the, the resurrection, that, that fountain of life that Jesus said when he met the woman at the well mm -hmm. and said, you know, drink of me and, sh and you shall never thirst again. And when Jesus said in, in John chapter eleven twenty five, I am the resurrection and the life. If you believe in me, you shall not die. Mm -hmm. Do you believe this? So you think of the anointing and the resurrection and the life and the water that flows from the throne of God and on either side of, of the river of life that mm -hmm. flows from the throne of God is the tree of life and resurrection life and the anointing that pours out of Christ the anointed one mm -hmm. that flows into the cross and from, from the cross that now the blood flows and then from the blood uh, from the cross it is now the fire of the Holy Spirit which is the apophescent fire of the which, is, which was promised for Pentecost. So that's the flame that I'm talking about. Mm -hmm. You can put water and, and the anointing oil and fire, and you can put it in the glory carrier, mm -hmm. and you can shake it up. But the, the water knows where, where, where its place is. The anointing oil knows where its place is. And the fire knows where its place is. Mm -hmm. Because the, oil, the, the anointing oil is not going to put uh, the, 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 the fire out the, the river of water uh, of life that flows from the throne of God or the fountain of life that's within you is not going to dilute the anointing nor is it going to put the fire out <laughs> because every, everything has its place and in order uh, how mm -hmm. God wants us to be the glory carriers yeah. and as a glory carrier we're lit up right now and we have an abundance of anointing. 
and we have an abundance of the river of life and the fountain of life that flows out of us, not only from heaven, but out of the Lord. That Jesus says, I am the living water, drink of me. And he says, I am, I am the anointing, and let the Christ, the anointed one, pour out of you. And let the fire of the Holy Spirit, the Pentecost, the Pachach, the Pachach, you know, like let that fire uh, and, 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 and the, uh, uh, just be in, be a fireball and a glory mm. carrier. And, you know, something was said to me, said to us a, a while back, and in prayer, and I did, and, and it, and it, uh, it kind of, it, it kind of set me back, and I said, Lord, I just don't understand this. I just don't understand why a person would say this. And they didn't, when they were praying, they it's because they didn't. They don't really understand who we are. Mm. They don't really understand that, yeah, that who happens. we are. If they would pray something that really doesn't doesn't sit well with, uh, uh, maybe really sit well with me or sit well with the Holy Spirit, because it was the Holy Spirit that touched me. Mm -hmm. If it's bothering the Holy Spirit and touching me, I'm saying, okay, Lord, what what is it? What is it that I have to I have to correct in myself? Mm -hmm. And what is it that I have to come into a place of being humble for? You know, so if, if somebody if somebody only knows us because of our gifts, then they don't know us. And they don't know you. Mm -hmm. If somebody can only say Ray and Leslie are, are good because of their gifts mm -hmm. and not our character or not of the fruits of the Spirit that were within us, they really don't know us. Those who have been with us for many, many years, well, you yeah. probably know our our love, and they pro and some of us. I would sooner that you know the love of God, mm -hmm. and the than the gifts that have been bestowed upon us to pour out. That we are sons of the Most High. We're children <clears throat> of God. You know, we. When I stand before the Lord Jesus Christ, exactly. when I stand before the Father, I can't say it's my gifts. Yeah, we are right. not. We are not known because of our gifts. It's our character of who we are as children mm -hmm. of God. If somebody can only knows it, oh, oh, well, we we know those people because of their gifts. Mm. That, uh, that, that that it was like a sword going into my heart. Mm. And I, I, I was, uh, mm -hmm. I best way I could say it, I was slain by it. When I say slain, it, 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 it said, okay, how, how, how do I handle this? Mm -hmm. I, I just want to be known as a son of God. I just want to be known as a child of God. I just want to be known as a friend. I want to be known as, as if you, if, if you need help, well, we help or we pray or whatever. Um, I don't know if you want to take it from here, Les, but I'm just saying the gifts come. We all, we 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 are all blessed with all nine gifts, and and we're all gift. We're all blessed with all nine fruits of the spirit. Mm. Well, and the the fruits of the spirit are developed through time. Yes. Um, but the the truth is, who really needs to be recognized is the author and giver of the gifts. That's right. And our Lord and our God, He is the gift giver. He is the one, but it is about how each individual person manages the giftings that have been given and manages the anointing that's been mm. poured out and the greater the uh, the greater the anointing the greater the responsibility that also comes with with the development of the character of the living god within us and so when when any one of us will allow the lord to do that work within us and allow our characters to be molded and shaped and formed so that we are looking and reflecting more and more mm -hmm. of the Lord God himself. That when 
when anyone would look at us, that what they really see and who they really see is the Lord come alive in the human form in and through us, at least in, in the fashion that he has fashioned each of us to be. And, it, and every single person has been fashioned after their God as only that individual, as only you can be. Nobody, nobody can be you, and you, you're not created to be someone else or to be like someone else. You were created to be like the Holy One who has created Amen. you as another reflection of Him, of His character. My gosh, we, there are so many facets and sides to Him because we, we, there's so many of us populated in the earth and we all look like the Lord when, we're, when, we're, when we belong to Jesus and we become more and more His image through us becomes sharper as we get closer to Him. But that's how many sided is he, like a you know a multifaceted um, stone, a multifaceted window, a multifaceted camera that gets different angles, and we can never ever see all of that all at the same time. But he shows himself and who he is through individuals, and so you know it's like. It's really okay to be yourself because you are the only you that God's created you to be. It's okay to be that individual and and really, really seek the Lord to be the individual he has called and created you to be because nobody else can be you. And, and you know, to be the... A protector of his presence and of his glory that by no means that we will fight we will fight tooth and nail to make sure that it is the Lord who receives all the glory Amen. that it is him who was honored and you know, and, and for those that have not yet come into that awareness, who have not yet captured the priceless gift we've been given, the gift of Him, the gift of His presence, then I just pray that the Lord will, that the Lord will, that the Lord will really meet you, that you will not miss your day of visitation with the Almighty God. For He longs, He is longing, He is longing to be known by you, but also for others to know Him through you. And so, do not miss the day of, of His visitation. Do not miss the day of your visitation with Him. Do not miss the moments, the glorious, glorious moments of recognizing where he is throughout your day. Just recognizing, oh, thank you, Lord. Yeah, that's you, God. That's you. Yeah, something, something might have gone really, really wrong in the course of your day, but recognize where the Lord is in that. Focus on those things. And then even greater is our gratitude and thankfulness to him. So, you know, as, as, as we talk about, you know, the, the gatekeepers, the glory carriers, um, the, the keepers, you know, in this galaxy that we are a part of, um, the greatest, the greatest of all is the Lord God himself and his very generous, loving and kind person and heart. Yeah. Yeah. You know, um, there's that song when we we do prison uh, prison ministry. Mm -hmm. That was so a song that was so. The num it was either number one or number two song. Yeah. Um, the Christians, you shall know them by their love. That's right. And, and number two, that as the deer panteth for the water. Mm -hmm. so those are the two. Yeah. Number one, number two, or number two, number one. Yeah. Yeah. But always. 
yeah, always. And it's, it's interesting, like two or three weeks ago, it was like, you know, at, at the time when we could still actually, you know, we were still able to gather, you know, in, in small numbers in, a, in our various different places. That song, the Lord kept bringing it back, and they shall know us by, and in fact, I even, you know, they shall know us by our love, how, how, as Christians, and I even printed the words of that song off, um, thinking, you know, maybe, maybe one of these times will, it will fit with the worship, you know, even in the church, you know, and they will, <laughs> they will know we are Christians by our love, Amen. and bottom line, what speaks louder than love? Every single person so needs to be loved. Yeah. And it is very sad that unfortunately they've not always seen that love through the Christians. And so for that, you know, we just, for that, I, I, I would even just say if you happen to be, if you happen to be watching or catch this by chance, whatever, by God chance, um, and for any any times, anywhere, that you have not seen and known that a person is a Christian by their love, I want to say on their behalf, and on behalf of yeah. all Christian people who have not displayed to you, have not been that face of love to you, I want to ask that you would forgive, please forgive, mm -hmm those of us as Christians that have not, that really have not shown you that love. And yeah, just please forgive that. It's a very fatal, very fatal mistake that has kept so many people. It's kept so many people. Yeah, <laughs> that's right. Maria just points, put the song up. Yeah, you know, so you can you can you're on YouTube. Check, check that um, on. I wish we could YouTube. sing, but we can't. Yeah, no, so we won't. We will not even try that one. But yeah, you can go to. Thank you, Maria. That's great um, to reference that and and to, to really and a lot, let that minister to you and to yeah. you know just let that speak loud and clear. They will know we are Christians by our love. Yeah. Yeah. So. So that's. Based on what has been going on this evening and yeah. and what we've been putting on as far as, you know, memory, like, you know, up here it says, you know, grandma's memories are, the, what does it say? Memories are, are in the heart she holds forever. Well, when you think about uh, the memories of the testimony of the Lord Jesus Christ, of how we, so many of people that are on here today that we've known, like Donovan and Lisa for almost 30 years now, and but the memories of the testimony of the mm. Lord Jesus Christ, of how we have walked through things together. Mm. And with whether it was difficulty in the times back then for Donovan, and the beauty of the times today. And the mm. same with Ralph, uh, five years, six years ago, he lost, you know, his wife passed away. And, and you know, and there's, there's always, there seems to be, there's always a time of difficulty, and then there's a, there's a time of, healing and and that's what we're about at resurrection life unconditional love you know developing great relationships in that mm. love unconditional forgiveness developing great relationship in that forgiveness and there's some people online that really can relate to that because we've gone through that and we've walked and we've discipled in that place of forgiveness and the mm. acceptance the same thing with people online and that's where the christians will know us by they our love, know, yeah, they will through the are, yeah. acceptance of of us accepting them, regardless to love them how where they're at, mm. you know, love them unconditionally, not conditionally. Which is Jesus. That's, that's only can be Jesus. So yeah. the Pentecost and the power that yeah. came down Amen. is the surge of the extra power that we have to come into walk into that extra power of love. That, we, yeah. that you know him in the power of the resurrection, yeah. in the power of the love. That is the power of the love mm. of God. There is no greater love than the power of God coming down, sacrificing his only son. Philippians 3, that you know him, that you know him in the power of the love of the resurrection, mm. that you know him in the power of and the resurrection and the fellowship of the suffering, yeah. the power and the relationship and the forgiveness and the love and the what the fellowship of his suffering that is 
Passover communion. And we love not our lives until resurrection day. And that is today and every day that we walk in relationship with our Lord Jesus Christ. We Death has no sting. Mm -hmm. That is the relationship that uh, we that need to continue to have the power and coming down from heaven in Pentecost that we would walk in that relationship and power and knowing and we know, in our knower that we know that hope of glory, mm. the hope of glory cannot be disappointed and that Romans 5.5, 5, that hope cannot be disappointed because it is a it is a gift from God that is given by the Father to us for this time, the hope of glory, the Pentecost, so that we can walk in that power love right now. When everything in the world is against every Christian. When the world it feels, like, it that. feels yeah. like that, but the heaven is for every Christian. Greater is he that is for us than against us. Well, that is in us. That is in us. But, I say, <laughs> yeah. but I'm just saying, we have heaven which is greater. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. Let's walk in the heaven and mm -hmm. the promises of God because the Pentecost is the promises of God that are within us and the glory and the galaxy of the glory carriers that we are that carry this great glory of the <laughs> God and the anointing and the fountain of life to all those who are thirsty and and this is this is the times that we're in is the is that time of the outpouring of holy spirit right? amen yeah so so in summary in my closes right now yes i'm going to close this out as yes. you know me first one in the mount of transfiguration J jesus yeshua hamashiach went up what mountain Mount Hermon. He went up the top of Mount Hermon. And God met him there and he brought his two greatest intercessors to encourage, to empower. God brought love. He brought Moses, right? And he brought Elijah. He, to, because Jesus knew that the, what was a gate ahead of him was going to be great, was going to be difficult. It was going to be great persecution. Jesus knew this and the Father knew this, so he was getting an extra amount of love and power at the greatest mountain right there. And, and he went up, and guess who went with him? Well, James, John, and Peter. I'll just call them Huey, Dewey, and Louie. Because they, they went up as spectators. They did not go up as sons and daughters of the Most High. Because when they got up there on the top of the mountain with God, and God sends his best intercessors, uh, Moses and Elijah, to encourage his son for the greatest steps ahead. All Huey, Dewey, and Louie wanted to do was set up a tabernacle for, for everything that was happening. Yeah. The glory, you know, God's glory that was there and Moses that was there and Elijah was there. We'll set up a tabernacle forever. We'll set up a church forever. We'll set up, we'll, we'll, we'll sell up an altar forever. Everybody's going to get, and, and. Were they trying to box, put a, put them all in a box? Yeah, 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 they were. Mm. And what, and, and, and what, what happened? God departed very quickly. That's right. God says, I'm not going to have anything to do with Huey, Dewey, and Louie in regards to um, God is in a box. I'm not going to have anything to do with a church of Huey, Dewey, and Louie that's going to put God in a box, mm -hmm. Holy Spirit in a box, the anointing in a box, and build up tabernacles and altars for things that have no substance, especially when everything is about Jesus right now. Mm -hmm. And they missed it. Are we missing it today? I wonder. So I'm just saying that the Lord was empowering His Son and allowed... James, Peter, and John to be up there and they missed it. Are you missing what God is doing right now? Yeah. As I said in, Je in Jeremiah 29, 11, I have plans to prosper you. Mm -hmm. I have plans to, to bless you. Mm -hmm. I have plans not to hurt you. So mm -hmm. during this pandemic, so we need to yeah, we need to prepare. We need mm -hmm. to plan. Uh, is, is there persecution coming? But we are going to prosper through it. We are going to be blessed through it. We are going to, we're going to walk through the fire and not be burned. We're going to walk through the floods and not be drowned. We are going to walk through the pestilence and not be bit. We are going to go through all things through Christ Jesus who empowers us to go through all things. Mm -hmm. 
Yeah, and you know, and as you know, as you brought you know Jeremiah twenty nine eleven. Yeah. This is in the um, the voice translation, but it says, "For I know the plans that I have for you," says the Eternal, "plans for peace, not evil, to give you a future and hope." Never forget that. Never forget the future and hope. Well, that his plans are for good and for and, that future. And, and Colossians 1, 27, mm -hmm. the hope of glory. That's right. And at that time in verse 12, you will call out for me and I will hear. Mm. You will pray and I will listen. You will look for me intently and, I will, and you will find me. Yes, I will be found by you, says the Eternal. And I will restore your fortunes. And I will gather you from all the nations where you've been scattered. He's got all these promises and, and plans for us, and it's for good. It is not for evil. And I will bring you back to the land that is your rightful home. The land, the land that is rich in his mercy and his grace and his love. That kind of a land, because, because that's who he is. Mm -hmm. And so, you know, that's, uh, yeah. And then, yeah. Okay. So I'm second close. Now. I'm going into the second close. Because I wanted you to get Huey, Dewey, and Louie because they weren't on the same page. Even though they were followers of Christ at that time and disciples, they still were empowered with the Holy Spirit, so they needed some empowerment and understanding and wisdom that came through the spiritual gifts, right? Mm. That's what we need for as well. And we need to exercise all nine. And the spirit, fruits of the Spirit. So what happens next? Well, we'll just talk, let's just talk about the triumphal entry. Well, when, when the triumphal entry happened, you know, Jesus comes down on this, on a donkey, which was prophesied, you know, a little burrow that never had been ridden by anybody else. And, and it was found on the backside of the mountain of Mount Olives. That's where it was. Go there. Uh, and and is, isn't that interesting where Bethany is? That's where uh, Mary and Martha and, and uh, um, you know, that's where their home was. It was so close that they always go there where the disciples were, kind of a secret place on the backside of the mountain where the little burrow was. Uh, and, and that's where uh, Lazarus lived as well. He was raised from the dead. Uh, it's kind of interesting. They're all there on the backside of the mountain. And <coughs> Jesus says, go, go there. You'll find a burrow. Bring the burrow here. And, and as, he, as he goes into Jerusalem, uh, I want you to know, uh, he, wept for his, he wept for Lazarus when he came out of the tomb. It was kind of like a shadow and a place of Lazarus representing, the, let's say, the, the church that didn't understand or see at that time. As Lazarus came out of the tomb, he wept for Israel. He wept. Mm. Well, as he went into Jerusalem, they're saying, Hosanna, 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 king on the highest. And they brought out the palm branches and they were waving it. They were, they were laying down the palm branches. They were laying down their talits. They were laying down their uh, everything that they believed that Jesus was going to be the conqueror to kick the Romans out. To kick those out in power, both, uh, let's say, both in the government uh, of what was being ruled over in, in Jerusalem and Israel at that time for so many years. They believed that he was the, the Messiah that was going to conquer them in strength. And Jesus wept. He wept for the people that thought, that, that, he wept for all those that, that felt that he is coming as a king to conquer those in power and strength of how they wanted it done their way. And Jesus said, no, we're going to conquer them in love. So all those minions, all those people, all turned their backs on Jesus within, within the week. And they give us Barabbas. Crucify him. Crucify him. Give us Barabbas. Are you at a place where you're still you're cursing God and saying crucify him. Are you angry at God because of what's going on in the world? Are you angry at God because of the way the governments around this world are, are responding to the people of this world? Crucify him! Crucify him! Give us Barabbas, the bad guy. 
Let him let him get the uh, what did they call that release of the prisoner during this special day? A man that had no sin was crucified, and a man that had all sin was released because they didn't understand because they wanted it his way, their way. Mm -hmm. They wanted it. They wanted. They wanted them to destroy. They wanted Jesus to destroy the government at that time and, and take the Romans out. What about the religious spirit? Do you, do you, was Jesus more in tune with the government of Rome or the religious spirit that was in the synagogue? You read the scriptures. How often give to, give to Rome what is Rome, Romans as far as taxes, take, take the coins the out Caesar. of the fish's mouth and give to Caesar? That belongs to Caesar. And give to? God, that which belongs to God. Oh. Mm -hmm. Oh my. Where's the anger there? Where, where, where is the anger there? None. All governments are on his shoulders. All nations are under his feet. We need to be in a place to understand as Jesus is doing his triumphal entry as part of the paraclete, of the pe Pentecost, of the Pesach, of what is poured down this week, you know, it was, it was, it was last Sunday, mm -hmm. um, based on Hebraic calendar. This Sunday, I know the Gregorian calendar is this Sunday. It doesn't matter. His power, his everything's been poured out. Receive it and open your eyes mm -hmm. to what God has for you. Right. Now, I, 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 I so... That was my second close, and I want you to understand that God is not going to do things the way you think they're going to be, just the way things were happening back then for Jesus and the Romans and, and so on. Christians are going to be known by their love. How much love you've got? And as the deer panteth, how yes. much are you panting after the water that what brings what to your soul? So we need to be in the right place drinking the right water and we need to be in right relationship. And in John chapter 14, verse 12, it says, Most assuredly I say to you, he who believes in me, the works that I do, you will do also. Mm -hmm. And greater works than these he will do because I go to my Father. Yeah. Okay, so that, that, that is, okay, th that is something I've never really understood. How could we do greater works than, the, than Jesus? And that was part of the thing that, that kind of cut to my spirit or my soul or my flesh that, that um, Ray and Leslie, we, we know them by their gifts. Please know us by our heart. I, I, please know us by our, the love that we have for God and the love that we have for you. <clears throat> It has nothing to do with our gifts because we don't have any gifts. They come from heaven. Well, we do. Because I understand. Well, okay, correct me. No, nope. speak. No, no, no. Go ahead. Go ahead. No, I, no, I, I, what I, what is that? What we do have is, you know, like you're saying, it's not of ourselves. It's not. It's it's God alone, and that's right. You're right. Okay, so verse thirteen says, "And whatever you ask in my name, yes, that I will do." that my Father may be glorified in the Son. We just do as glorifying Jesus, as glorifying the Father through the Holy Spirit that has empowered us, and he has trusted with us a lot, with a little, and sometimes he pours out a lot. That's, not, that's the Holy Spirit within each and every one of us. That's the paraclete who comes out here. And it says, 14, if you, if you ask anything in my name, I will do it. Mm -hmm. And we have the faith for that, to pray for people. Yeah. And verse 15, if you love me, 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 keep my commandments. Keep my commandments. Love the Lord thy God with all thy heart. Love your, love, love your neighbor as yourself. Those are the commandments that Jesus gave. And I will pray the Father... And he will give you another helper, a paraclete, that he may abide with you forever, 
forever, forever, forever, every memory, forever, 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 hope of glory, forever, forever, eternity, forever, we're in relationship, forever, memories, forever, together, with the spirit of prophecy, which is the testimony of Jesus, forever. Oh, if you love me, keep my commandments, and I will pray the Father will give you another helper. The, the, the Holy Spirit powered fire, and he will abide with you forever. The Spirit of truth. The Spirit of truth. The Spirit of truth. Who, who are Ray and Leslie? I hope you know us through our love of the Lord Jesus Christ. The Spirit of Truth, whom the world cannot receive, because it neither sees him nor knows him. The Spirit of Truth cannot be seen by the world. The eyes of man that have not been activated through the Spirit of Truth whom the world cannot receive because neither sees him nor knows him, but you know him. And he dwells, and that word dwells means cleaves to you within, within you, and will be in you. And I will leave you, or I will not leave you orphans. I will come to you. In other words, you will no longer be orphans, but you will become sons of the Most High. That's the close. Hmm. What do you got? Well, you know, it's 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 making a declaration. Okay. Um, and a, a declaration about yeah that we will be given the help from heaven, and it's entitled "Angels Descending and Surrounding," hmm. and uh, this comes from Brenda Kuhnman. Thank you, and. This declaration that says, Today we call upon the Lord God of hosts to commission the reinforcement of his mighty angels to surround your life, your home, your family, your property, and your business. And we thank God, according to his promise, that angels have been commissioned to bear you up in their hands so that you will not experience injury, accident, tragedy, or calamity. And I'm going to insert Israel into this as well. Which that is. we call upon the Lord God of hosts to commission the reinforcements of his mighty angels to surround Israel, to surround all the, the, the families within Israel and those associated with, to that those angels will surround the properties and the businesses of, of, the, of the families, the, the people of Israel, whether they be the Jewish folks or the, or the non-Jewish and we thank God that according to his promise, these angels have been commissioned to bear you up, Israel, to bear you up in their hands so that you will not experience injury, accident, tragedy, or calamity. And we call for the angels to protect against all attacks, so for you personally, for your family, for your loved ones, and for, and for the nation of Israel and all who, all who are part. We call for the angels to protect against all attack violence, burglary, break-in, mischief, and mayhem. You, Jesus. As we speak God's word, we call for the angels to descend and work as ministering servants for all of us who are heirs of salvation and for God's people Israel. And we say, may the angels surround each and every one of your loved ones and each and every person you know, for Israel that they may be safe from all harm and injury. And today we declare in full assurance that angels are standing watch even as you sleep and cover you from before and behind. And we declare the angels of the Lord are working for you and they are on your side. And the, in Psalm 91, and this is where part of the reference is in verses 11 and 12, for he shall give his angels charge over you to keep you in all your ways. They will bear you up in their hands lest you would dash your foot against a stone. 
And so it is that the Lord sends helpers. He sends Holy Spirit. He sends his angels to help each and every one of his people. For these angels are the ministering spirits for God's people. And they are here as those helpers that we just mentioned, helping to keep us safe. And not only that, they help to empower us to do what God has called us to do without living in fear, in the fear of tragedy or in the fear of harm. We are living in this dangerous time in history right now. But we need God's angels more than ever. So you can rest assured today that if you are stay aware or become aware of their activity, you will know that they're working on Yahweh's behalf and that their purpose will always, always benefit you. We can ask the Lord to commission his angels to stand guard over every little, every little piece of our life that concerns us. And as you, as you may well know, if you're a mom or a grandma or a, an intercessor, whoever you may be, and you've been praying, that many a praying person has asked God to send angels to watch over their children, their loved ones, those who are sick, you know, and, and not doing well. And based on the choices of, of God's people, though, on the choices of your kids, on the choices of, you know, whoever you're concerned about, you can only assume that it was the prayers of the saints, the prayers of the saints for God that were sending angels to keep each and every one safe. So know today that there are angels on assignment for you. They are on assignment for you and each and every one of you. Why? Because you are so special. You are so special to the Lord, and you are definitely very special to us. Lord bless you. Yeah. So... Guardians of the galaxy, <laughs> you are the star and the radiance in the sky, but also here on earth. Let your light shine. Let your light shine in the darkness. And yes, the Lord, where it says uh, you're the light on, on that hill, and he lifts up the bushel so that you that all, what? All the earth, all the galaxies can see your light. Because when Father Abraham was like all, he says it's going to be like all the stars in the nation. Isn't, isn't that like all the stars, all the nations? Isn't guardians of the galaxy, can you not see all the stars? Wow. That's who we are. And that's how much we light up in the darkness. And that's how much, the, and the enemy knows it. Mm -hmm. uh, we're in charge. We are the glory carriers. Amen. And God has put us on assignment. Yeah. We are placed there at the point of the spear, at the point of the sword, as the praise, praises of the line of Judah will roar. Mm. We are there as the intercessors of Issachar, knowing, being there as the worship warriors, the prayer warriors, to pray all things in times and season, because we are in the know. We know that we are in the know. And we're the glory carriers. <laughs> I can't be more any more excited. I hope you are too. Be in this time, of, this month of Pentecost, this month of outpouring. This is the month of Peshach, or it, you know. So you let your little light shine. <laughs> you know, there's a song about that. Let your light shine. Let your let the Jesus light inside you shine. So the Lord bless you. Mm -hmm. The Lord keep you. The Lord make his face shine upon you. Mm -hmm. the Lord, be gracious unto you. Mm -hmm. The Lord left this countenance, his light upon you every morning. And the Lord give thee peace. Shalom. Mm -hmm. Now and forevermore. Mm -hmm. And that peace is the hope of glory. That peace is the love of God from all, from all, all in all. Let the love shine. And let your love reach out in relationships and acceptance to those who need acceptance. Mm -hmm. To love those who need love. Mm -hmm. And to bring into that place of forgiveness those who need of forgiveness. Mm -hmm. And don't carry an offense. Yeah. But release the offense and come into a place of relationship all in all mm -hmm. in the body of Christ. Until we, until we, until we meet again, until in the place of relationship we love you. Amen. We love you. Leslie will keep praying, and I'm going to go push the button. <laughs> he, he likes pushing buttons, as some of you may know. 
Anyway, yeah, um, thank you, Father. So, Lord, we, we just really and truly, we send your love. Lord, we send your love because you are love. We send, we send you, we send you into every home. And, and we send you, Lord, the power of your love and your presence and your glory, Father, to each and every individual. And we say, Father God, touch each one in a very special way. Lord, I, I just ask that you, you would just, your presence would hover. Your presence would hover, Lord, um, with every person and in their rooms. And God, that you just, you bring comfort to those that are needing comfort. And Lord, we thank you that you have already are bringing up. Peace is on its way. Peace is on its way. And so, Lord, we just thank you for your goodness. We bless you, Father. We just say thank you, Jesus. Lord, we just send peace um, to even to those... Father, your peace and hope we send to those who would even be contemplating um, doing harm to themselves. Mm. Father, we send peace and hope to every individual that is even considering or contemplating or thinking about it. Lord, we say let, I, I just ask, Father, for an encounter, an encounter with the Most High God right now, a face-to-face -face encounter with Jesus Christ, who is our Lord and our hope of glory. So, Lord, you, yeah, I, I just speak that to whoever may be in need of that at this moment. Yeah, and Lord, for um, those who um, either have recently received or have been, have been afflicted with diabetes, God, I thank you that your healing word goes Lord, you are the you are the healer. You are the word, and we send your word to each individual that they are healed in Jesus' name. Yeah, for right knee, there's just a, a right knee. Um, I'm sensing that the Lord wants to really, if that's you, just put your hand, just put your hand on your knee or any any part of you that you know is giving you a hard time. But just put your hand on your knee, and, and Father, we just thank you for healing, for healing. Um, anyone with with right knee or other ailments lord that you are the power you are the power source and so I, but i thank you that your power comes through even through these hands that lord that yeah that even as we we read and spoke first about at the beginning of the our time together that power and healing will be seen even through each individual hands in jesus name so Yes, so Kuri Babay Arokurumoto Kuriatai, yet or to today at a tie to today. I'm just getting the sense that, uh, a real sense that there is someone, or maybe more than someone, one someone, but someone who's very recently received news, like a tragic news um, of, of someone, either like a, a, a vehicle crash or accident, news of injury that's just come very recently. Um, and I believe the Lord is saying that he is right there with that individual. And he's certainly right there with you. So take comfort in him. The, that individual, whoever that may be that's had the injury, is not alone. Like a blanket, a ba blanket, just like a blanket of warmth and comfort being placed on that person. Shotori 
Yes, so to, the Lord has that in hand. Whatever that may be and how, whatever that outcome is to be, I, I'm not, he's not given me what that is to be, but whatever it is to be, he, he's got that individual, he, he's got you and he's got that individual and he's looking after things. So to Comfort. It's just comfort, comfort, comfort. He's just speaking comfort. And so, Father, we just want to say thank you. Thank you, Lord, that you are such a very personal God. Lord, that you were talking and meeting your kids and those that maybe don't even know you yet, but you are meeting those who are yours. Right here, right now. Comfort. Comfort, comfort, comfort. And peace. Shalom. Shalom. And until we meet again. Good night.